Welcome back to Bluegrass on this rainy but yet beautiful March day. Uh, we're out here training a lot of dogs and I have somebody out uh, working with me and they asked me, uh, they said, Stoney, why do these golden retrievers look so different? Okay, uh, and I get that question a lot, you know, because we do a lot of dogs and people come out here and they'll say, okay, that's a Labrador and that's a Labrador, but why do they look so different? Like on this table, we have a bunch of, uh, you know, my favorite kind of dogs, which are black labs, right? Okay, but we had a chocolate lab. Of course, he just hopped down. He probably started barking in a second. And we have two golden retrievers and the two golden retrievers, one of them is kind of deep, deep auburn color and one of them was almost white, what's known as an English cream, okay? So what we're doing this week, okay guys, watch out, uh, is we are making a golden retriever, is it right for you video, right? Now, in that video, one of the things that pops up is a concept called line divergence, okay? And what line divergence means is that breeders, you know, different bloodlines, uh, they diverge from each other in terms of uh, color, conformation, temperament, drive, things like that. Okay, so my question for you today, I'm trying to get some good information from people who are pretty familiar with uh, golden retrievers specifically, but dog breeds in general, is does color matter? Can you look at a dog and see his color or see his conformation or see some type of physical attribute about the dog that translates consistently into behavioral differences, okay, athletic differences, uh, or just temperament differences, okay? So write your comments below and then we will try to incorporate those comments into uh, the Golden Retriever Is It Right For You video that we're making over the course of this week. I look forward to your answers.